Hey everybody, what's going on? My name is Twitter Flounder, and we're doing another Moveset video. What has it been, like, eight years? Oh god. I'm getting old. Uh, today we're going to be looking at four very unique, and I mean that, one's very similar to another one, but they're very, very unique movesets for Lapras. I've used Lapras a lot through the generations in multiple tiers, and I feel like I understand what I'm talking about when I talk Lapras. So... Let's hop into this. So I guess the most standard set for Lapras is Choice Facts, so let's start with that. Water Absorb is our main ability here. You really don't care about the rest because this is a special attacker. Now Hydration can definitely be useful on rain teams, but overall I wouldn't recommend it and Shell Armor really doesn't do much, so Water Absorb is really just our best bet. Allows us to keep Lapras healthy while also being able to take good use and make good use of the Choice Specs item. We're going to go with a Modest Nature for maximum damage output. And the EV spread here is going to be a little bit different than what I would typically use. Normally I would do 248 HP and maybe the 8 in speed to maybe outspeed some of the things in the same tier class, maybe like Weezing or Lapras. However, we're going to go with a very offensive one with 208 speed, 48 HP, and 252 special attack. This is obviously meant to be a very aggressive Lapras and really does pair well with something like Sticky Web on the team allowing it to then outspeed base 100 speed Pokemon. For Lapras's moves we're going to run Hydro Pump because it's the strongest stab water move that we can really go for. It's pretty accurate enough to make it justifiable. Next up we have Freeze Dry which is by far the best Ice State move in the game. It really allows us to not have to run T-Bolt on Lapras because this is always going to be better. T-Bolt can be blocked by a ground type, especially if they know your specs. So there is obviously plays to be made around that, but Free Try hits a lot of things in the game for super effective damage, including water types. Ice Beam is just there for a secondary backup. There's not too many moves that Lapras gets that aren't really redundant or just kind of a waste. There's Hyper Beam or Hyper Voice, and then there's also things like Dragon Pulse, but we have Ice type moves, so why would we want that? And lastly, we're going to run Psychic. This allows us to hit some of those fighting types that we are weak against for super effective damage. So this is a very awkward set that I've tried numerous times over the years to varying success. This is a Curse Sleep Talk Lapras. Now the idea here is to make good use of Lapras's immense bulk and try and curse and dish out a lot of damage. It's very, very rarely ever a good set, so this is really a, just for fun. The nature is going to be careful. This is a plus special defense nature minus special attack, which is great for us because we're a physical attacker. The item of choice really is going to be leftovers, but I think that you could potentially use weakness policy if you were really impatient and wanted to try and get out more damage sooner. The idea here is to take attacks, so you're probably taking a few super effective hits at some point, so weakness policy definitely would go through. The ability of choice is actually to be shell armor for this set because this allows us to not get critical hit. So that's really a good thing when you're setting up on a Pokemon. If you can't get hit by a critical, then that's awesome. But water absorb does also mean we have a water immunity, which is always a nice thing, as well as extra HP recovery. So if we keep on the stealth rocks and then we absorb a water move, we would heal up, which is again, really nice. The EV spread here is going to be 248 HP. You never want to maximize the HP set on Pokemon that are weak to rocks. That is very important. So 248, 252 special defense. This is going to maximize our special defense stat entirely, which is what we're going for. And then 8 defense because the attack stat is already larger than defense stat. And this is a defensive offensive set. So we want the extra bulk. Again, I want to stress this is a set primarily for fun. Don't expect to be sweeping Pokemon left and right. I've only managed to maybe take out one or two of my opponent's Pokemon with this set before. So the moves are Curse, Rest, Sleep Talk, and Avalanche. The idea here is that when we Curse, we will be slower than our opponent guaranteed, in which they will hit us, and then Avalanche will actually go ahead and get the additional benefit of 
the double damage, allowing it to go from a 60 base power move to 120 base power move, and then after the pluses and attack, and the fact that it's a stab attack, we're ideally hitting for some sizable damage. So I guess for the uh, controversial moveset, if you play by Smogon rules, you can't use Dynamax or Gigantamax Pokemon outside of Ubers because, well, they're really stupid and broken. And uh, honestly, it's a good thing that you can't do that. But if you're playing just for fun with a friend or somebody and you're allowing these and anything possible, right? Then this is a really fun set that will definitely catch your opponent off guard. So, the idea here is it's a mixed sweeper and it's going to go two different ways. There's a more physically offensive and a more specially offensive variant. I guess this set could actually work in Ubers if you really wanted to, uh, especially before the DLC comes out because we have a lack of legendary Pokemon. So this could be a viable option actually, but I guess it really just depends on what your opponent has. The nature is going to be naive. This is going to allow us to have a plus speed nature while having minus special defense. The special defense stat can honestly take a hit here. It's not too important because we have other ways of increasing our defense stats we have weakness policy as the one and only item on this lapras because this is very crucial to the whole set the abilities honestly you can use any one of them it really depends on what you're going for if you're running the more physically offensive set and you get burnt hydration might be a good option as long as you can make it rain with max geyser Shell armor, again, will prevent you from being able to get hit by a critical hit attack, which is obviously really annoying for your opponent when you're, uh, you know, Dynamaxed and have an absurd amount of HP in bulk. But really, I would always go with Water Absorb for the most part because I think this is just straight up the best ability Lapras has. You come in on rocks, make a good prediction, hit, absorb the water type move, does nothing, and you gain HP. That's just the go-to. And for the EV spreads here, they're both always going to have 252 speed. That is very important. This thing needs to be maxed out on speed. But it's going to be flip-flop back and forth, 252 attack or 252 special attack, and then the other ones being 4 special attack or 4 attack. Okay, so please bear with me here. There's a whole lot to discuss. Now, what we want to do with this set is bring Lapras in on something that either... One, our opponent can hit for super effective damage, but not do too much damage to us. So maybe an unstabbed super effective hit that is from a weaker Pokemon. Or two, going to force them to switch. I like the second option better because then we get a free Dragon Dance up without having to take an attack. However, we do have weakness policy on the set. So getting the attack boost whenever is usually pretty ideal. But if they switch out, they have then two choices. They can go into a Pokemon that can try and hit Lapras for super effective damage and try and take it out. Or they can go into probably a wall and also probably a special wall because most Lapras are special. So because we're physical, that's great for us because they're going to be in this weird predicament. Where they're like, oh, um, what do I do? Uh, it's a physical attacker. Uh. So then we go ahead and... Gigantamax and go for the G Max Resonance. This effectively gives us a light screen and a reflect, so the Aurora Veil for Lapras for five turns. This is really good and really important because this makes Lapras even more annoying. It's already super bulky as it is, and now it's insanely more bulky because the the G Max transformation and then the G Max attack. So, that's pretty crazy, stupid, powerful. Then, we also have Liquidation, which would become Max Geyser. Again, for Hydration, this would allow you to heal any status in the rain. So, there you go. It's easily set up and also allows you to set up the rain, which your water attacks will do more damage in the future. And then we have Drill Run, which will become Max Quake, which will actually allow you to increase your special defense stat even more so crazy defensive offensive really ridiculous stupid lapras set we're running liquidation because it's stronger than waterfall yes waterfall has the flinch chance but i would take the damage over the flinch chance any day and drill run is just good coverage 
Now, for the ice move, we're going to be on the special side, which allows us to then hit physical or special walls, depending on what we're growing up against. And we have either ice beam or freeze try. Freeze try just allows us to hit a lot of extra things for super effective, like another water type. So I like that option there. And that's really what it does. And then obviously for the special variant of this, we're going to have Hydro Pump for maximum damage output, Ice Beam or Freeze Dry, Drill Run because it's probably the best physical attacking thing we can go for, plus it gives us really good coverage, and then again Dragon Dance. We Dragon Dance, we can out speed, we can set up the Aurora Veil to be a little bit stronger because it's special, and then do some crazy stuff from there. So this is the Lapras that is very similar to the last set, but is the one that really started everything off and I have a crazy clip for. Her. The idea here is to just physically sweep and there's no mix. It's just pure physically offensive with priority. It's going to be Jolly Nature with weakness policy, which is definitely mandatory. And then again, abilities don't really matter, it's up to you, but the spread here is 252 speed, 252 attack, and then four defense. Okay, so this set is definitely the awkward cousin of the last set because it has Ice Shard, which is just kind of weird. I do think that the mix sweeper is definitely better than the physical sweeper, but what who do I what do I know, right? I, don't, I only made the sets. So Ice Shard is here because there are definitely things that still outspeed Lapras after one Dragon Dance, and most of the time you're not gonna be able to get up a second one because of how fast paced that the game can move. So having Ice Shard allows you to have priority for the things that would be faster, and if they are faster than you, they're probably on more on the frail side. So something like Jolteon or Greninja, things like that, Infernape, right? They're fast, but they really can't take too many hits. So this allows you to get a nice plus three priority Ice Shard off before they can do anything, maybe taking them out or even just being able to two hit KO them before you take a second attack, things like that. So it's not the best, but it's okay. It works and Av Avalanche could do the same exact thing and maybe do more damage with priority and the amount of speeding and all the other stuff you want to you know, speculate, but I sure it works and uh, that's what I'm sticking with. So here's the clip, then the awkward situation I'm putting as this Gyarados comes in super early, knocks out my Machamp, and half of my team is scared to death by it because I cannot one-shot it, and it's probably going to one-shot most of my guys, which is obviously not a good thing. I've already lost my Bullet Punch priority, which isn't going to be too effective against Gyarados regardless, and uh, I'm really in a bad situation as my Pikachu's modest and does not outspeed Jolly Gyarados, which are most Gyarados because of the whole Moxie and Dragon Dance thing. And I know for a fact that my opponent's Gyarados is actually Jolly. So Lapras, for the most part, should be able to take everything except Power Whip, which I don't think he's going to be running, which thankfully he does switch out which is great because Lapras can probably survive anything it wants to go for and either Freeze Dry or Thunderbolt and either way it's four times super effective and probably take it out. So he goes into his Machamp which is perfect as I get the free Dragon Ants off. Either way I had to go for it. I needed to outspeed his Gyarados and just be able to do things. So I go for the uh, G-Max Resonance here as he brings in the Machamp, which is obviously going to go for the Dynamic Punch. So I'm going to absorb this very well. I do get confused, which again, you know, whatever. It's it's hacks. It's what Machamp does. It's awkward to be on the receiving end from a Dynamic Punch for once. But yeah, everything that I needed to go f for, it, it worked out. I'm plus three attack. I'm faster than the majority of his Pokemon. I go for the G Max Quake to get the special defense boost, so that way I can even just take on his Jolteon even better at this point, which I'm assuming is coming in as he actually does go into it. So I'm gonna play it safe. I'm just gonna go for another G Max Quake. If he does predict that correctly and goes into Gyarados, then you know what can I really do? Uh, the safest bet, honestly, would have been to have just gone for the Geyser but I wasn't really thinking, but thankfully enough for me, he actually does not go out into his Gyarados, and he actually sacks off, I believe, the Tyranitar here, as he's going to be able to set up the uh, Sandstorm, which is going to start chipping away at me, because he needs a little bit of damage on me, honestly, I don't have leftovers, so it's going to start dealing some serious damage, but 
Um, Gyarados was definitely the correct switch, but you're in a very awkward situation. You don't really know what to expect from a, a physically sweeping Gigantamax Lapras. It's very off-putting, and when you're in that swept position, it's very, very difficult to be up against. So, yeah. So he honestly should have sent out the Ninetales first, and he had said that later on. But um, it turns out it was Focus Sashed, and unfortunately for him, because of the Sandstorm, it's not going to be able to abuse the fact that it's Focus Sashed. But I am faster than the Ninetales, so he would only have gotten off one attack regardless, especially because I have the Ice Shard. So it's not too big of a deal, it just kind of speeds up the process a bit. And uh, yeah, I take that extremely well. That's, I know it's not stab and, and a lot of other things, but that is a max attack and Lapras absorbed that like it was nothing. Also was not a good play for him because now he's kind of neutralized the fact that Sandstorm damage is there because I'm healing back as well. So in comes Jolteon at this point and I'm not going to mess around. I know it's going to Volt Switch again, so I'm just going to go for the Liquidation, which is going to allow me to effectively just kind of bring the this Gyarados down to a point where I can go for any one of my attacks other than the uh, drill run and, and take it out so yeah I'm sitting free and I'm just gonna go for the ice shard because I figured I'd show it off and go for it and it does take out Gyarados from the strange because it does not intimidate so that is perfectly a-ok -okay by me and then lastly in comes the Jolteon and though I'm not going to be able to take it out with the plus three ice shard because it's still at full HP yeah Lapras did a very very solid chunk to his team and was just an amazing sweeper so that's gonna be the video guys thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoyed if you like any of the sets please leave a like comment or subscribe on the channel it really helps out a lot and I'll be back with some more hopefully very soon